Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you how to create a pure CSS3 slider Ok, we are not going to use any kind of JavaScript to create this slider Basically all we need to know is HTML5 and CSS3 Ok, if you are familiar with these technologies You will be able to learn this slider and watch this tutorial So let's see the slider in action whenever i click on these buttons here you can see these slides are loading one by one okay so this is what we are going to build in this tutorial so you can see that as i click on these buttons first the image slide is loading and then the caption which is provided at the bottom of the image is loaded by sliding from bottom to top okay so this is what we are going to build throughout this tutorial now let's close this okay now i am going to show you that i have already created an index file which is index.html and put the images in img folder the images that we are going to use so these are the images we are going to use for our sliders uh, I want to show you in our, my data structure so here is the direct structure and here is our index.html file all the images we are going to use throughout this slider and another thing is a CSS folder in which we have reset.css file basically reset.css file is used to reset the browser's margins padding line height font size etc so that it will be consistent in all the browsers okay so basically resets is used to reduce the browser inconsistencies okay so i'll show you how to get this reset file okay so minimize this and let's open a new tab here we are going to search for reset file so we are type mareweb.com slash eric tools css resets okay so now we have opened the css reset website where you can read the description about css resets which says style sheet is used to reduce the browser inconsistencies in things like default line height margins and font size of headings and so on okay so how to use this css resets basically you have to copy all this code from here and in our directory I have already created a CSS reset file which is reset.css I have just copied that code we have copied earlier in this reset file here okay now close this reset file now we have to include this reset file in our HTML document which is index.html so i have already linked that file here by using link tag so friends you have seen that i have included reset.css file into our html document now let's structure the slider using html so let's create the container element which is section and this container element is for all of our slides so give it an id of slider okay and expand this inside this we are going to create an element which will serve as a container for each individual slide so i'll create article and give it a class of slide and expand this now inside this article tag we are going to create a figure element which will contain image and the image caption so let's create the figure tag figure and provide the image by using image tag so img and source should be img forward slash img 01.jpg okay and let's provide it a alternative text to img 01 and expand this now you can see our image has been inserted into our HTML document and now let's 
create a fake caption so fake caption and write some description which is dummy text <clears throat> now you can see we have inserted our image and its caption here okay now let's create an input element and a label which will serve as a button for each of these slides so first create input and provide type of radio and then you need to give it a name so i'll give it a name of slide and then we have to provide it an id so i'll give it id of slide one and then close this square bracket and expand this now you can see that we have one radio button at the top of this image actually we need to write this input element inside this article which is individual slide for this slide itself so now let's create a label element okay later we will hide this input element and the label will serve as a button to target this slide okay so create a label element and give it a four attribute of slide one which is equal to this slide one here which is the id of this input element okay and let's give it a class of label and label one label one we have provided two classes i'll explain why i have created two classes for this label here so let's expand this for now and you can see that i have created this empty label here i can write something here and whenever you click on this you can see the radio button been checked okay so we need just empty label so just delete this we're gonna apply css to style this label later now we have created one slide we need to create such five slides in our document since we have already created one slide now we have to copy this slide four more times okay so let's copy it and paste it four times i wanna paste it only single time and go ahead and do that yourself okay and don't forget to change the ids like this you have to change id of individual slide attributes for example you don't need to change the class here of article you have to only change the slide id which is slide input id you have to only change the slide input id which is slide one let's change it to slide two and don't change the name and let's change the label for attribute to two and also class for this element to two now go ahead and do the same with uh, other three slides you have already copied now paste it three more times and change these attributes so let's provide it two and this is also gonna be two okay so pause the video and do that all right now you have created such five slides and change the attributes of each of these slide elements okay such as uh, ids for class and source for each of these slides okay and i have done this for you off screen okay so that we can save little bit of time now you can see the preview in browser here we have radio button for each of these slides then image then fake caption similarly we have this radio button and this image and caption and we have such five images here now we want the first radio button to be checked okay so we're gonna simply apply the check attribute okay should be equal to check okay 
so whenever this page loads the first radio button will always be checked okay so now we have finished structuring our slider